guys, welcome to A Godly Home. In today's video, you will see Marissa and I cooking at my grandmother's house. And we had a great day. We went to church with my grandmother and just had a wonderful time of praise and worship. And then we came back and made her lunch. And we wanted to share with you a little bit of that. I know some of you guys were very interested and um, more about my grandmother, so you're at least going to get to see her kitchen today. She didn't want to be on the video, but I think you'll find the video fun. I took a couple of little snapshots of her kitchen here for you guys. I love her kitchen. So we are making a salmon pot pie. It's a 1950s recipe that I adapted just a little bit to make it easier for my grandmother's food restrictions. And um, I will put up in the corner right here the ingredients for the biscuit top that Marissa is mixing up. recipes to get the right I was going to say, I, I never heard of a pour on biscuit, so that's kind of, that makes sense that you combine multiple recipes. These are mashed potato fries. We always love getting those when we kids. It's the best thing ever. softer rather than hard. Yep. So I'm going to just have them double decker even in this pan. There you go. Um, put tin foil. You yeah, might steam them over. Them. Yeah, and that would make them softer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Get them brown, I think it's going to be a little... You got any tin yeah, foil? Yeah, Here. I tin found it. foil? Right here. Oh, never mind. We got it. Doing butter because my I'm right-handed and I was whipping the stuff and then I switched back to my right hand and I'm right-handed. I'm trying to get my right hand to my right arm a break because when you're whipping batter it kind of your whole arm feels it. Yeah. You want a muffin while you wait? Oh, oh yeah, you did. Okay. How's that look? Enough for you? Yeah, that looks good. Good. Would you add some pepper to it? Yep. Do you want more or is that good? That's good. Yeah. See, I, I'm very, when I'm doing it for other people's stuff, I do it very lightly because I can season very strongly. Yes. Like, if I don't stop and think, Melanie, you'd get a lot of garlic and stuff. <laughs> a lot of garlic. I can't do garlic. Oh. I know. And neither can anybody in my whole family. Huh. This is so funny. Like, not my parents. Right. Not my grandmother. Um, not Corey. Not Jacob. Yeah. Not Corey's family. Huh. Isn't that weird? I couldn't for a long time, and I slowly worked my way up to it. What is that that you're making? Uh, just a white sauce, okay. white gravy. I was going to say, I feel like I should know what this is, and now that you say that, I remember you telling me that's how you made your white sauce. So, milk. Couldn't remember. So, might as well ask. Um, so, I happened to notice this on her counter, and it made me think of your Chef Boyardee. Oh, I brought it to her. Uh, yeah, it made me think of, it made me think of the Chef Boyardee. 
Pizza. Yep, she loves those. That's another thing that we ate at the grandparents' house when right. I was a kid. So I brought her one because I ordered a case of them for food there you storage. Go. And she loves it. I might as well show it to the camera so they know what we're talking about. These are delicious. I prefer it over the Kraft macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, they came in a three-pack. You got chicken noodles. Okay. And which was just like egg noodles and a creamy chicken sauce. Right. And then um, the Kraft spaghetti and one box of macaroni and cheese. There you go. And I preferred any of them but the macaroni and cheese. Yep. Well, I made myself some macaroni and cheese every day. Because I was just like, you know what? That's fast and easy and I want something different than the leftovers I have in the fridge. Because I've been doing pretty good about keeping the leftovers low. But that means when you're out of leftovers... You actually have to make something. Right. And I didn't want to take anything out of the freezer to thaw. Because I have leftovers in the freezer. So, I'm like, I have a whole case of macaroni and cheese that was given to me. But I made some macaroni and cheese. So I did. And I had that with spam. And then the leftovers the next day or the day after or whatever day it was, I pan fried with some like pork chops that I had cooked and cubed and froze mm -hmm. and then threw like a single slice of American cheese on top of it and let it sit for that to melt and oh, oh sounds good. serve that with some fresh tomatoes, some carrot slices, some no, carrot sticks, cucumber slices. That's pretty good. Uh, do you want to open the salmon, drain it, and kind of flake it with a fork? Sure. We might need two cans, but we'll start with one. Yep. So I've never made this. I don't know. I got it. Drain it just in the sink? Yep. Okay. Lisa, I didn't think she had a cat. Do something like that. I have to save it for either Spud or the cats, because you know I'd be like a naughty mom if I did. Right. Okay. okay. In that mixture that I added to this gravy, it was two tablespoons of flour, some black pepper, a little onion powder, and one chicken bouillon, and then I have added about a cup and a half of milk and uh, you saw what I did with the butter and the flour where I made a roux. If I was to do one of those fruit and marshmallow little desserts, is that something she could have? I think so. I was gonna say, that yeah. would be really soft. Yeah, I think so. She could tell you in one bite, yes or no. All right. But I think it melted right in our mouth, didn't it? Like just dissolved. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's basically just fruit, fruit, fruit puree, mm -hmm. fruit puree. She does like limes too. Ooh, and uh, marshmallows. So yeah, I'm putting it in the cup over here so we know how much we have. Okay. And so I can tell what I've actually leaked. <laughs> Yeah, and we're here early enough in the morning, even if you want to whip it up and put it right. in the fridge while we're at church, there's time. Yep. Well, that was the other thing I was wondering, is if I was to bring something small for you and I for breakfast, would that be something that you would be interested in? Sure. I didn't have time to eat this morning. Right. And that would give you time to... Oh gosh, that's a lot of salmon. It's very fluffed. Awesome. Okay, let's add that right in now. Okay. And Good. then show them the can it came out of. I think I got it all up. I didn't. This is a 1950s recipe, guys, on the, the gravy and what we're going to do for the filling. And then I adapted a more modern recipe for the top just to make it easier to eat. 
Okay, now peas and carrots. Let's see if there's some scissors in one of those drawers. Oh, there right there. Is. She's like me, a million pairs of kitchen scissors. Mine's a million pairs of sewing scissors. Because they might end up in the sewing box, or with a particular project, or with a crochet project, or... I have two pairs of kitchen scissors, a million pairs of sewing scissors, and one pair for, for paper. Mm -hmm. And she... Okay, and you could use cream soup in place of this, a couple of cans yeah. if you wanted to, but it's so easy to make the sauce. Okay, I'm going to grease the pie plate. Mine stopped producing. Yeah. Melanie said hers has stopped. Hers has stopped. Yeah. My tomatoes though. Oh my goodness. Those are just going and going and going. Mine too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it, apparently it is because they are doing great. Yours are doing good too. Aren't they? Yeah, they are. I'm bringing them in green to ripen up in a paper bag. Yeah. I, I really want to go pick some apples. Go to an orchard and get some or something. Last year I made applesauce with my aunt. We used to do that a lot when we were kids. And, uh, when you cook in your grandmother's so oven, you don't dare spill anything over. Seven, I'm going to put a 15, cookie sheet underneath that. And I don't leave till four or after. So I'm a half an hour away. Yeah, and this year um, I volunteered to teach art for a living, and I love that. So I do that two days a week. And here it is finished. That top was nice and soft, and it had great flavor. It was a nice change from the usual chicken pot pie, and it was very simple to make. And there's about half of a pie left over that my grandmother can have for meals throughout the week as she wants it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out Marissa's channel, What is an Art?